you ever had that feeling when you went into your favorite store, purchased a fairly expensive item, and got home only to realize you really didn't need it? Yeah, I'm sure some of you had that feeling today. Well, after dropping their third straight game and sitting at 500, you have to wonder if the Texans are feeling that same way after dishing out $72 million for Brock Osweiler. In a snowy game today against the Packers. Look at that snow. If I can build a snowman. <laughs> anyway, the offensive woes continued for the Texans. While Osweiler played a fairly decent game, throwing for 202 yards and two touchdowns, the offense struggled to get the ball down the field, only making one red zone appearance all game. What's up with that? Not to mention, the Texans are currently second to last in the NFL in passing yards. Aaron Rodgers, on the other hand, was Aaron Rodgers. He threw for two touchdowns, that one right there to Jordy Nelson, and willed the Packers to a 21-13 victory. But the bigger issue looms is Brock Osweiler worth the $72 million that was given to him. Now, earlier this week, I showed what Osweiler $72 million can buy. Here's a few more items. Look at this, 24 million lattes from Starbucks, if you love caffeine, 90,000 pairs of Jimmy Choo shoes. Andrea likes that one or 24,000 tickets to Super Bowl 51, which funny enough, will be played in Houston. And speaking of the Super Bowl, one team that may be there is them Cowboys. With the Redskins lost today, Dallas has officially punched their ticket to the playoffs. Stay tuned for the championship ride. And while we're talking playoffs, playoffs? We have five East Texas high school football teams who have advanced to semifinals. Art Malikoff, Gilmore, Carthage, and Mineola have all made it. East Texas represent. Well, there's a first for everything, and that includes playing in various Juco Bowls. Today, Kilgore made the trek to Perkinston to get their very first taste of the Mississippi Bowl. The Rangers faced off against number three East Mississippi, and the Lions would get off to a hot start in the first. Jacquez Horsley pounds it up the middle for the touchdown. That put East Mississippi up 14-0. Scary moment here, though, in the second quarter. Kilgore QB Chandler Elin scrambling gets hit hard. He goes down to the ground, and he would not return to the game, but have no fear. Backup QB Cam Martin is here. He comes into the game, and he looks like Cam Newton with this beautiful throw there to Zach Newball. The 25-yard touchdown pass tied the game at 14. Oh, look at that dance. But East Mississippi would come back and win 27-17. to You know what? Kilgore always has next year. And coming up next in sports, Coach Keller describes that magic that is going on with the SFA men's basketball team. I'll tell you all about it. Stick around. Unstoppable. It's the only word I can think of to describe the SFA men's basketball team at home. After picking up their 31st straight home win yesterday, everything is just clicking for the Lumberjacks. You know, the exciting part for me as a coach to finally see him play the way I want him to play. Seeing some hard work and seeing some some uh, uh, some guys have some success out there doing some things that we do every day. Uh, that that to me as much as anything else, you know, having success. And I thought we had some fun out there. This following and to golf after a long awaited comeback, Tiger Woods finished with a double bogey in the Hero World Challenge today. Overall, he made 24 birdies and shot 73, 65, 70, 76 to finish at four under. Welcome back, Tiger. And we'll end with this. Here's a look at the current college football playoff picture. Obviously, Alabama takes the top spot. Uh, everyone knew that, followed by Clemson at two and Ohio State and Washington cleaning up at the three and four spot. Now, notice will be missing from there is the University of Miami and maybe Alberto, who I'm giving it to right now, can explain why the U is missing on the playoff picture. It's, it's coming soon. It's all about the U, baby. Uh, as we left off 